it's a new dawn, it's a new day, and my God, the sun is shining. I have picked the wrong day to leave my sunglasses at home because this is going to be an issue. Uh, it's a lot later than expected. It's now 9.35 in the morning. And so I had to take my eldest to school, then go back home, pick up my youngest, and then take her to my parents' house. And then my wife will be picking up my youngest on the way back from Oxford. And then I've got to pick up my eldest from school. Nice and easy and straightforward, eh? Uh, but yeah, I've got, a, I've got a couple of jobs to do. Uh, but at the moment, I'm in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by a beautiful countryside and I can't really complain too much before I go into, into places like High Wycombe and, and Marlow. So I'll catch up with you in a bit when we either get to a charity shop or maybe somewhere with a little bit of a bit of RA. I'll catch up with you soon. It's 40 quid. Well, that was a dodge. If those Samuel Windsors were a tenner, I might have picked them up, but they were too worn for my liking. Let's go! And the working day is almost done. It's now 20 minutes past three. I'm just waiting until 3.30 so that I can pick up my eldest daughter from school. Feels really weird saying that, um, but my God, time has flown. Stuff that I've bought that I haven't showcased. At least I don't think I've showcased this. It's nothing special, but for 4.99, I got Uno Blitzo. It's not brand new, it's just boxed. And it is from 2002, so it is 21 years old. Now, when I bought that, there was uh, someone came in, saw that I was holding that, and he, they did like the quick. You know, we all go in and we do like a quick scan of the charity shop sometimes if we're if we're strapped for time. He was literally out within seven seconds. Like in, saw me, uh, went like to the back, saw me, walked back out again, and that was it. He was gone. So that was an interesting one. I think I picked it up at the weekend, and then pickups today. Sonic Rivals on the PSP. Paid a pound, I think, last time I checked, between 10 and 15 pounds. And then, huh, what a game. The Insane Trilogy, Crash Bandicoot, 50 pence. I think it's about 15 pound all in pre-owned. However, I have not played a Crash Bandicoot game for about 20 years. So I will be completing it first and then I'll sell it on because 50 pence is an absolute bargain. And we also have an update from Monzo. So the whole booking.com debacle, I sent in, uh, images and messages to Monzo uh, the afternoon of which it happened. And they got back in touch really quickly, asked a few questions. I answered them, sent screenshots, and they've refunded me the full amount. And they said that the fraud team will take care of it. So Monzo has been absolutely fantastic. But also what I've heard uh, by Project Games, he's had the accommodation place ring up him because he's got two different bookings, one through booking.com, one through hotels.com. And he's canceled the, the booking, but he wants the hotels one because he did the hotels one afterwards. So they, they might be ringing about and seeing what on earth is going on because I would imagine a lot of people are going to see, are, are going to be, well, sorry, a lot of, Hoteliers are going to be seeing people cancelling bookings and then rebooking through a different website and stuff. But either way, I've closed my booking account down and I won't be using them again. And I know projects are exactly the same. So, yeah, no doubt I'm expecting a phone call from, from them over the next day or two to find out what my story was. But yeah, Monzo, if, you, if anyone from Monzo watches this, absolutely fantastic customer service. And there's a link down below for that as well, which I think you get some benefit, maybe. I've got no idea. And now up into the Tinfoil Palace. You know what, one day I'm going to be up here and Ricky Lee will just be sitting in the corner stroking the foil. But I'm looking for an item in BC. And this is the said item. Sold it for $39.99 for a really questionable looking jumper. Questionable was in, it looks crap. But you know, it's sold.
from one tin foil shed to another and we have sold on the playstation one grand theft auto platinum for 19.99 all in apparently doctor who's rose tyler four pounds 99 and then the last item is in the house and it sold for 13 pounds it's a dvd 13 pounds plus the shipping and i'm just going to put a label and, and do it inside because i'm cold and it's freezing and i should have in theory converted this into a proper little office although saying that i can't really do that because i need somewhere to put a lawnmower still don't i um yeah i'll see you guys soon au revoir